Woodbine's fifth starts the 2001 Horseman's Trot Series. Here they come. There, off and trotting, Ship's Pinnacle was on a break and distanced as the gate got away. Hanko Angus, Corncob Conk, and Cor Corey all gunning for the lead, and J.D. Beacon is off stride. Glory's Comet strides out in fourth. Spring Melody taken in neatly from fifth position. Turnpike Token is sixth away. Keo Keo seventh. Armbro Tenacious made a break. J.D. Beacon is off stride. The distance trailer ships Pinnacle. Hanko Angus leads the front pack of seven to the first turn. Corncob Conk hanging him out there as long as he can. 20 seven and three the opener Hanko Angus has hit the front for Bayarjan surrendering to sit along in second after a hard gate move was a corncob conk and Corcory sits in from third Glory's Comet not far off from fourth on the way to the half and Spring Melody is five trotters back Turnpike Token is six Keo Keo is seventh now the distance trailers up the back stretch are ships pinnacle two more lengths to JD Beacon and out of contention Armbro Tenacious at the half Hanko Angus by a length on corncob conk then another two to Ancora Corey. Glory's Comet stays in fourth. Spring Melody first out from fifth. 58 and two the halftime. Hanko Angus the leader into the final turn and last three eights. Tracking along in second is when Corncob Conk and Ancora Corey sits an inside trip from third. Ranging up first over is Spring Melody getting closer. On the back of that one is Turnpike Token. Second over into the top five. Glory's Comet trapped in from six. Keo Keo is seventh on the outside and out of contention are ships pinnacle. J.D. Beacon and Armbro Tenacious. They turn for home chasing Hanko Angus, 128 and 3, challenging second on the outside, and first over was Spring Melody. Spring Melody and Lyle MacArthur giving Hanko Angus all he can handle. Hanko Angus, Spring Melody going a big first over trip, then Turnpike Token and Corncob Conk. Hanko Angus to the bottom of the well. Spring Melody chasing to the end. Hanko Angus digs deep to win the start of the 2001 Horseman's Trot Series over Spring Melody and Corncob Conk with the inquiry up. Hanko Angus, 150. 57 and 2. Harness Racing's newest millionaire, number 8, Hanko Angus. Wins in the start of the 2001 Horseman's Trot Series. A worthy lad, 7-year-old Bay Gelding from Angus Bone Mar. Past winner of the Maple Leaf Trot Owned by Gestion Claude Chere, 27-38-60-10 Quebec, Marino Fabri, trained by Rick Zeron with Mario by Arjan driving for the milestone win to surpass a million dollars in life's earnings. 157-2 in the start of the 2001 Horseman's Trot Series at Woodbine. As expected, Hanko Angus in the opening division today of the Horseman's Trot. Mario, I guess things went pretty much as expected. Yeah, he got a middle half in one, one, and two. And the track's a little deep today. The track, I don't, I don't think he liked that track too much. But uh, he, he, he came 28 and four in his class, and uh, he had the softer division too. So uh, he's probably he's going to be in the final now. Dug in well when you asked him in the stretch. Uh, do you think his back class was a big factor in with this group? Oh, definitely. You know, a horse that's winning a million dollars, got to have some back class. <laughs> All right. Want to take a quick look ahead to race seven. You uh, are back up with SF Premium, a horse you know well from the Paul Kennedy barn. A quick thought on him coming in. He is coming in off a layoff. It was real good this spring, you know, when he was fresh. Uh, I think he had the track record for a while here. Uh, in May, I think he went in 53-3. and three. So he's good when he's fresh, but I'm a little concerned about the layoff, you know, uh, uh, and he's in the tough division, so, uh, but he's, he's a nice trotter, and uh, like I said, he's real good when he's fresh, so uh, he's fresh today. All right, congratulations, good luck with him, good luck in the upcoming race with Noonday Hardball. Thank you very much. All right, we'll have the trainer of that one, Rail Bourgeois, after post-parade of race number six. First of all, we're going to take a look at the show photograph 